quite simply, yes, <laughs> it's as simple as that. The Terraria developers have made clear on multiple occasions that they will not remove hoiks. So please, for the love of God, stop asking me <laughs> if they still work. I've had so many comments on one of my previous hoik videos, even now when I don't upload anymore, saying this doesn't work. I tried it in my world. It just doesn't work. I'm doing my. Am I doing something wrong? Oh, it doesn't work. They patches. No, they haven't. All right. So I'm here <laughs> to clear the air. We're gonna. I'm gonna do one final tutorial. And the thing is, since the video I'm talking about, which I'll link in the description. Oh, little uh, editor note here. Yeah, I won't be. It's actually disgusting. Like, uh, yeah. Is referenced on the Terraria wiki for a strategy against the Moon Lord. It's uh, like a, just a general hoik, uh, hoik arena for the Moon Lord. Loads of people are still coming to that video even now. Even though it's a horrendous video and it's like... <laughs> it's just really badly made, truth be told. Um, and I'm just sick of getting comments on it. So, anyway, with the hoiks. Same as before, you've got a hammered platform into a staircase leading into diagonal blocks. They're facing down and in the direction you want to go, as you can, you can clearly see there. And then I'm just going to walk into it. Oh, right. Because, <laughs> again, this is another thing people don't get. I'm going to walk into it holding down on the arrow keys. Look at this. Look at that. I just go straight through. So I'm walking down, you can see I go through the platform, and then I clip into the block and I slide. Again, this is up, so this is a two gap here from the uh, horizontal ones, and then one block up, and then this time the blocks are oriented outwards as if they've been rotated 90 degrees uh, counterclockwise. So you've got two block gap, one block up, and then for vertical ones they need to be two blocks in between as opposed to one. Again, same thing, I'm holding down as I'm walking into it, and straight up, easy as that. And then as well, I saw somebody saying that uh, the loops no longer work. Because I presume they were trying to make it for a boss like the uh, like Skeletron, how Yurimi had done. But again, this is the same thing. So, horizontal track into a vertical. The top is the same, so you've got ones facing upwards. Again, it's like a 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation. They need to be one block gaps, and you need to have a top solid block. That's a key part. Uh, and then again, coming back down, it's a two block gap and one block, so in reverse. And then it's also the same as the bottom row blocks coming down with a two block gap. And as you can see, this works clear. I'm not going to stay in that for long because it just makes you feel a bit sick. But there you go, it works perfectly fine. So I'm just going to quickly build a track as a, as a final, final thing. So we're going to have a wooden platform. And we're going to have some blocks. Look at that. Solid blocks. And a wooden platform, you can use any solid block. I'm going to hammer the platform so it's stairs facing that way. And then I'm going to hammer it. There you go. That's one, two, three, four, five, four times <laughs> going uh, to the right. And I'm just going to continue doing this. And then, as you can clearly see here, it works. I didn't mean to hammer that. Whoops, I'll fix that later. It works. It works perfectly fine. And I'm going to go... That's second block. There you go. So that's a two block gap. One block up. I'm going to hammer it outwards like that. And I'm up. Fantastic. It's perfect. Alternatively, you could only go one block gap if you need it for space reasons. However, it has to be hammered the other way. Um, and then the players on the outside as opposed to the inside of the block. Don't use that method though, again, unless you're tight for space. So I'm going to continue this up. And remember, two block gaps on the verticals. It's only one block. There you go. And I'm going to create the, uh, the horizontal track along the top. And you should find that the top track is the inverted blocks where the gaps are on the bottom track. So again, these blocks should be rotated as if they're 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation from the, the track there. Let's test that out there. And now, since we're coming back down to uh, in line with this one, this is the one where we have a two block gap. 
like that there, and then one block up, like that. And we're going to need two blocks coming back down. And again, the blocks coming back down in the loop have the same orientation as the bottom ones, so... Here you go. It's just like that. And again, while you do need the top row of blocks so you stick to it uh, when you're going along the top, you can mine out the two in the gap to get out, and you can also mine the two out here. So anyway, that was a simple hoik tutorial, and yes, this is... So how do I show it to Terraria 1.3 flipping? Right, there you go, it's 1.3.5. This is the most recent version of Terraria. They have no intention to patch it, so please stop asking. If they do patch it for some reason, I will make a video and I will explain. I won't explain why, because I, I wouldn't know, but I'll just say. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope this has cleared everything up. And also, finally, I do not know if you can do this on phone or console. The last time I checked, they had, like, a limited amount of orientations with blocks or something silly like that. And you couldn't do it on the DS version or something. I don't know. I don't care. It's PC. <laughs> so, uh, basically, yeah, that's it. Bye.